finish today's assignment, we're going to draw a sketch of quadrilateral PLAY for play and label the vertices. That's the first thing we're doing here, the number two, letter A. Since we are only graphing in the top right quadrant, we can set up our x and y axis like this. To plot P, I use the coordinate 3, 2. For L, I go from the origin, 11 right, up 7, put a dot. Then I connect those four dots with lines to make this quadrilateral. It says to label the vertices. The vertices are point P, point L, point A, and point Y. Just one of them is called a vertex, which the definition of a vertex is when two lines meet, or where two lines meet. When you have more than one vertex, it's called vertices. So we're done with letter A. Letter B says to name the four sides and find their lengths. So naming the sides is not that difficult. We start with a vertex, such as Y, and we travel to a vertex such as A. The side is simply called segment YA, like this, with a line above it. Or, the identical side can be referred to as AY. It all depends on which side you start from and end on. To find this length, that I wrote as 9.4, we're going to use the distance formula. And if you forgot it, this is what it looks like. You have two coordinates, and you're going to think of each x-coordinate as x2 and x1, and the y-coordinates as y2 and y1. You plug in these points to find the distance. So, if we're going to plug in points y and a, we will take 16 as our second x-coordinate. It goes in first. Minus our first x-coordinate, minus 8. 15 is our first, or our second, rather, y-coordinate. And then we subtract our first y-coordinate. When we subtract those and square them, and we add them together, we get the square root of 89. Take that in your calculator, that's where you get 9.4. You'll do the exact same thing for the three other sides. Some of them may have the same length, some of them may not. It's up to you to find. Next up, name the slopes of the four sides. To find the slope, we're going to use something called the slope formula. Given two points, x1, y1, or x2, y2, we subtract the y's and we divide this by the difference in the x's. So let's again choose points y and point a. To find the slope here, all we have to do is take the difference in y's, 15 minus 10, and divide this by the difference in x, 16 minus 8. This gives us a fraction 5 over 8. And that is the slope of the line between points y and point a. So this line here has a slope of 5 eighths. Next up, we're going to name the two diagonals and find their lengths and slopes. The definition of a diagonal is when you connect a vertex to a non-adjacent vertex. So here is y. What adjacent means is right next to. So y cannot be connected to the vertices right next to it. What's the only other vertex? It's the one right across from it. And that forms a diagonal. There's a second diagonal in this quadrilateral between P and A. Now that we have our diagonals, we use the exact same two formulas to find the length and the slope. So we would use point Y and L, plug them into the distance formula, get an answer. We would use Y and L, plug them into the slope formula, get an answer. Then you would go back and do the same thing with P and A. Plug them into both the distance and slope formulas. Letter E. Find the coordinates of the midpoints of the diagonals. So let's start with diagonal YL. How do you find the midpoint? Well, you use the midpoint formula, which says we add together the two X coordinates and we divide it by 2. We add together the two y-coordinates, and we divide them by 2. So it's like taking the average of all your x-coordinates and the average of all your y-coordinates. For y and l, here's what that looks like. I add 8 and 11 together, and I divide them by 2. I add 10 and 7 together, and I divide them by 2. 
your answer should be written as a coordinate. And it's okay if you get decimals like 9.5 and 8.5. That's the correct answer. You would then find the midpoint of the other diagonal. 